Many teachers in the classroom are not licensed to practice the profession, and today at an education press conference held at the Biltmore Plaza, the Ministry of Education announced that over 1,300 teachers from primary and secondary institutions are expected to lose their jobs because they did not complete education training. Back in 2008, the Ministry notified teachers the need for them to obtain certification in pedagogy. According to Minister of Education Patrick Farber, it is part of the policy of the Ministry to strengthen the education system. And we invested in uh, teacher education and professional development. We provided financial incentives for teachers to acquire professional qualifications. In our second term in 2012, we pledged to continue that work that we started back in 2008. And in addition, we committed to the following among others. Continuing the drive to train and certify all principals and vice principals in school leadership. Constantly reviewing teacher education programs to meet and exceed new national standards. The Education Act, Chapter 36 of the Laws of Belize, Revised Edition 2000. Provided for the governance of the education sector, including the licensing of teachers. This was 16 years ago. In accordance with this act, the Education Rules 2000, Statutory Instrument Number 92 of 2000, provides for the regulation of the education sector, including the requirements for a license to teach. But what is the Belize National Teachers Union doing to mitigate the inevitable? that is for the teachers to meet the training obligations or be removed from the teaching system? According to National President Luke Palacio, teachers were reminded that provisional licenses would have expired. We don't want the public nor our members or who are teachers to say that the union has done nothing for them, that the union is throwing them out, out in the cold because they have been told we keep on talking about our to our teachers about continuous professional development. It forms part of our, our theme in, in some of our conventions in the past, where we are insisting on our teachers. You need to get the professional development, and that BNTU is not going to be here to defend persons who just decide, well, I pay me $20 a month or me $18 a month, and I can get away with whatever, and the union will defend us. Faber also announced today that between now and March 15th, teachers whose provisional licenses will expire on June 2017 will be able to apply to an advisory committee for a special permit for a period not exceeding three years for them to acquire pedagogical training. It has not been until recent times that significant progress has been made in increasing the percentage of trained teachers in our schools. The percentage of trained teachers in 2008-2009 at the pre-primary level was 11.9%. At the primary level in that same school year, 2008-2009, it was 42.5%. And in, at the secondary level, the percentage of trained teachers, 08-09, 29.7%. By 2014-2015, the number at pre-primary had risen to 31.8%, the number at primary 67.6%, and the number at secondary to 39.6%. But what about those who's nearing retirement and have given decades of service in the teaching profession? Palacio says that recommendations have been made for those who qualified to get benefits. In some of the recommendations that have been made, the BNTU was very instrumental in ensuring that all our teachers who would be affected would not be affected negatively in its totality because, for instance, we insisted that persons who qualify for service benefit, that even if they don't have, or even if the license would have expired, that they will be given their service benefit. We were concerned about the persons who would um, be nearing retirement, they would want to go back to school or would find it very difficult. Uh, given the circumstances to go back to school, so we were able to get agreement in the recommendation that persons who would retire in the next two years will be granted the, uh, the special permit that we are talking about. In terms of areas where there is very limited or non-existent opportunities for, for these teachers to get trained, 
to get the necessary qualification that they too would have to be given consideration.